Hi, uh, my name is Nadeem Ali. I'm a fifth year dentistry student in the University of Deberson, Faculty of Dentistry. Welcome to this presentation. Uh, we're going to take you on a, a brief uh, general explanation of what the dentistry program entails. So our dentistry program is a DMD degree. <clears throat> Here we can see the Faculty of Dentistry. Um, it was established in 1977. Uh, we have multiple departments and multiple courses that we will um, take throughout our studies. Some of these um, departments are listed here on this uh, slide. We can see that we do oral, sur um, oral and maxillofacial surgery. We have dental alveolar surgery, uh, pediatric and preventive dentistry, oral medicine, periodontology. These are just some of the ones that we, we, we go through. We also have prostodontics, um, operative dentistry, which entails endodontics and uh, restorative work, and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> the technology that we use within our faculty um, is slowly advancing, just like in the dental field in general. Um, we are transitioning from the old standards where, for example, amalgam fillings, now we're trying to go into more aesthetic work. Now the 3D printers are a major thing, which you can see in the faculty here, we, 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 we have those available to us. So we do 3D printing, uh, 3D printers for making dental impressions, some implant. The CAT CAM technology is ever growing, and we we are lucky to have this within our faculty. And we have CBCT like comb beam, comb beam CT. These are for more detailed, in-depth um, evaluations rather than your typical X-ray. So these more like more, more more they're more used within the oral surgery. So when you want a more in contrast, more in depth um, evaluation of whatever situation you might in encounter within a, with a patient. <clears throat> so our study is a graduate and a postgraduate education. Um, it's across five years, so 10 semesters. Um, we have national and international education research relations and then the Deberson University's talent management program. Um, on this slide on the bottom, you can see they're working on a phantom head, which we work on during our third year, which is our preclinical phase, which we will go into a bit more detail in the next few slides. So the dentistry program, as we mentioned earlier, is a DMD program. So it's a full-time graduate program, um, 10 semesters, as we mentioned earlier. The first semester usually starts in September, when the second semester usually starts in February. So in your first year, um, if you didn't do the basic medicine course, then you would do a two week long crash course to the Hungarian language. I did do the crash course, if I remember correctly. It's pretty nice. You, you, get, a, you get a little bit used to the Hungarian language. It's not the easiest of languages, but it's a nice little introduction. Like you kind of dip your toe, let's say. And then later on, you do three, three years worth of um, Hungarian courses to improve your Hungarian so you can try to um, communicate better with the patients that you might get. because. It is a, it, we are in Hungary, so it is the language of choice. So the language requirement when you're doing the entry exam is just English proficiency. So you do academic requirements. You can see them on the slide over here. You have the high school certificate, uh, and then you do an entrance exam which, uh, with a one-time fee of um, 150 USD, and then the entrance procedure is 350 USD. So the entrance exam just entails a little bit of biology, chemistry, and physics. You do a written, and you do an oral exam. So I'm from Canada originally, high school and all those stuff. We didn't really do these oral exams. I find them very helpful because you kind of, the, the professors are able to kind of assess your knowledge and understanding much better than just written, which might be interpreted in many different ways. So the tuition fees throughout the year is uh, 17,500 USD, and that includes the material. So we use a lot of materials in our second, third, and then of course in our clinical years, which are our fourth and fifth years, we use a lot of the materials to you know, provide the best healthcare that we can for the patients that we get to see. So the final degree that we get is a doctor of medicine in dentistry, which is the DMD. Um, as we mentioned earlier, it's a 10 semester program, so five years. You have patient treatment that we learn, um, improving your motor skill. So third year is the preclinical. We work in the phantom lab. If you see the bottom middle and bottom right photo, you can see the phantom heads. So I believe maybe two or three years ago, we improved our phantom um, laboratory. We will see it in a video later on where we see the new um, equipment that we got. And I, I was lucky enough to work on these new phantom heads. and that helped the transition from your preclinical to your clinical um, studies. So we learned diagnostic procedures, visual and, and tactical dental examinations. So 
general description, we have seminars, lectures, practices, then we have a compulsory final exam, and then each semester we try to get 30 credits. So by the end of our studying, so by the end of the 10 semesters or the five years, we have 300 total credits of compulsory, required electives, and freely chosen subjects. So semin uh, lectures are usually held for the entire year. So let's say you're in first year, so you attend with the entire faculty or the entire, um, all your classmates, let's say, are there. And then seminars are more, let's say, minimized. So you go from 100 plus students to, let's say, I think 20 or 30 usually is the maximum they try to aim for. So in these ones, in these seminars, you go over the lecture material. You can have kind of a bit of a one on one. You can ask questions to get better explanations on things that you might have missed in the lecture. And then practices is where you can apply all of the things you learned within your lecture and within your seminar. And then when you get to your dental, like preclinical, which is your third year, then you do a lot of practice on the phantom work that we on the phantom rooms that we mentioned earlier. So in this picture on the bottom photo, you can see one of our complex rooms. So in your clinical years, which is your fourth and fifth year, you get to be assigned to one of these complex rooms. You have a supervisor, you start seeing patient, you slowly start feeling like, you know, you're almost there. Um, course modules, we have the basic, which is the biophysics, med medical chemistry, cell biology, I think microbiology, um, et cetera. These are in your first year, and then you do general and preclinical dentistry courses. So you still, because it's a medical of dentist, doctor of medical dentistry program, you need to do medical subjects alongside your dental subjects. So your first year, dental-wise, you do odontology, which you, has to do a lot with the morphology of the teeth to get like a, a further understanding. You get, you get the full picture of how the teeth is. And then later on, when you get to your clinical dentistry phases, so your oral medicine, preventive dentistry, you start getting into more, um, as, as it is, clinical, right? So more complications you might see, more patient complaints that you might um, encounter and how you can, you know, resolve these issues that a patient might have. And I feel like odontology, oral biology, these um, preclinical dentistry courses help in building a strong foundation for you to be able to give the best treatment you can to your patients. And then also we have the general medical subjects, uh, internal, internal medicine, dermatology, neurology. You learn about the heart, the kidney, anything that a doctor does, except we don't go into so much detail, but we go into enough details that, you know, piques our interest a little bit, but it's, it's it's not our main focus towards the end. Um, that's pretty much it for the presentation here. Thank you so much. If you have any, um, any questions you might need, you can um, reach the university at info at um, edu.unideb.hu, or you can visit the website at edu.unideb.hu, or the specific for the dental faculty is the dental.unideb.hu. Thank you so much for your attention. Now let's go visit the faculty of dentistry.